Welcome everybody to the call tonight. My name is Eric Johnson, creator of Teamsy. I'm really excited to be with you tonight to talk to you about how, how to get started right with Teamsy and become a power hour boss. Now, just so you guys know, I know a lot of you guys are brand new to Teamsy. Teamsy is designed around the concept of the power hour. The idea that you can leverage a small amount of time to be incredibly effective. And in our business, in our day, is what a lot of us really have to apply to the business. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how tonight you can absolutely crush your business in one hour or even less a day, okay? I'll take you through the whole process of setting up Teams. It's pretty easy. Then I'm gonna take you in and show you how to connect with as many as 20 people in 30 minutes, okay? Just to connect get in the make someone's day mindset, start conversations. I'll show you how to start conversations, how to have conversations. Then I'll teach you how you can invite people to learn more about the business and how to follow up on those invites like a pro. I'll take you through the whole process from starting a conversation with somebody to, to signing them up as a member of your team, okay? And when I'm done with that, we'll do a question and answer period. You can ask me anything. You guys will notice there's a Q&A button there on your screen. You can load questions now or as we go. Okay, but either way, I will stay and I will answer all your questions. If you have a few, we'll be done here early. If you have a ton, we'll stay here longer. Okay, you guys ready? Let's jump right in. And we are recording um, in case you missed something or in case you want to go back and, and pour over some of this content again. Uh, it is being recorded for you right now. Okay. All right, so get started right with Team Z. Become a hashtag power hour boss. You guys can use that hashtag if you want. Okay, a little backstory on me. For those of you guys who don't know me, as I said, my name's Eric Johnson, creator of Teamsy. <clears throat> my background is in the business consulting industry. I've been a business consultant and coach for 15 years, helping people build their business and based on a whole philosophy of relationship marketing, which I'm gonna kind of feather through our presentation tonight. I got involved with network marketing a few years back. Um, I had found some products that I loved. They impacted my life in a very positive way. And I'm sharing, I was just excited about sharing these products with people. In fact, this is one of my posts. I was a beach body coach and I got into the business kind of on the side just for fun. Now, just so you guys understand as a business consultant, I knew if I had an hour of day and I want and I wanted to be successful in this business, I had to leverage my time with the right tools so that I could be efficient, not waste that time. So I went looking for the tools. Where is the tool that will help me do that? help me do all the things that I need to get done in my one hour so that I can be efficient. Well, you guys know, well, you don't know, so I'll tell you the story. So this, these are the things that I needed to get done in one hour. I wanted a way that I could stay in touch with all my contacts, with all my contacts. Because your network, guys, the people you know, it's the most valuable thing you have. It's more valuable than anything you own or just the people that you know, okay? So I wanted a way to stay in touch with all my contacts. Also, I wanted to know when to contact them and when not to. In other words, I didn't want to spend all day planning my power hour. I just wanted to turn something on and say, oh, here it is. This is who I'm going to contact, okay? Also, I wanted to know what to say to them because I'm the type of person that will spend a lot of time, way too much time, trying to get the perfect message. Any of you guys relate to that? It's called analysis paralysis. So I just needed, I needed to find things I could say to start conversations without thinking too much about it. Also, I wanted a way to follow up seamlessly so that nobody would ever fall through the cracks. And this is the worst part of this business. And I know you guys have experienced it. Any one of you who've been in the business for more than a couple of months, you've talked to somebody, they've been interested, and then they put on the brakes and say, you know, I can't do it this month or I'm not, I'm not ready yet. No problem. And the next thing you know, what happens? They've signed up under somebody else. Has that happened to you guys? That's just because you need a system to make sure people don't fall through the cracks. And that's what I needed too. But I needed one more thing. Beside all this, I wanted to be able to do all this in an hour. It had to be easy for me to use because I'm really not good with technology. And I know you guys think I'm the Teamsy guy and I'm great with technology. The truth is, is I'm not good with technology. So it had to be easy for me to use. Well, you guys know how the story goes. I didn't find it. It didn't exist. So we built Teamsy. So, so I'm going to show you guys now how we built this tool just to do those things that I just described. But just to give you a little background on where Teamsy has been in the last two years, we just, we just celebrated our two year anniversary. We've had more than 45,000 network marketers use Teamsy, which is pretty awesome. And I want to give you guys the, the, these results. The active users in Teamsy right now are averaging 21 new customers and nine new recruits over 90 days. Okay, so active users are averaging 21 new customers and nine, nine new recruits over 20 days, which is pretty awesome. Now imagine what that would look like compounded over a year for your business. Imagine what it would look like compounded over a year for all of the people that you're signing up in your business if they were doing it too. Now, what do I mean by active? I'm going to show you guys how to do a power hour, okay? And that's what I mean by active. I'll show you exactly what it takes 
to get these types of typical results, okay? All right, action steps is for the end of this call, so let's get, jump out of there for a second. And we will pop right back into Teamsy and I'll get started here. So now you're looking at my Teamsy dashboard. This is the Teamsy standard version, okay? And the standard version is, it's not for a specific network, it's for everybody. And this is for the hundreds of networks that we haven't customized for yet. Now, if you guys are in a specific network where we have a version for you, you'll just notice some of the words are different. A lot of people wonder what is it that makes it special? It's just the words, just the terminologies that you guys use. And so you'll see those change a little bit as we go. But this is Teamsy standard. So if, you're, if we don't have a version for you, this will be the version that you use. Okay. So when you come into the free trial, now I want to make sure you guys are all at least on a free trial if you're not already a subscriber to Teamsy. You should go to Teamsy.com and get the free trial. It's 30 days for free. It's free. We don't ask for your credit card. We don't ask for anything weird like that. We're not one of those companies. We know that if you use this for 30 days, you're going to get great results and you're going to fall in love. We built this to be loved, not just used. We want it to be loved. So we know you'll use that free trial and fall in love, and then you'll be ours, and we'll get to work together for a long time. So go use it. Go use it, okay? Um, when you come into your free trial the first time, it'll drop you inside the setup wizard. The setup wizard is designed to help you set this up pretty easily. And if you dismiss the setup wizard, you can get it back anytime by going over to settings in the right top right corner. Okay, there it is. And I'm going to just take you through the wizard really quick. So the first step is, you know, you can sign up to get messenger tips, which is great because I know you don't read emails. So this will help you during your trial to get a lot of great tips through this. Okay. And then in the wizard, we're going to do three things. We're going to set your income goal. Okay. And then team is going to take that number backward, engineer it and give you a suggestion on what to do every day to hit it, which is pretty awesome. We're going to create a powerful why so that you always know what to do so that you tend not to quit right? It's important. And we're going to get all your contacts into Teamsy so that you're super mega organized. Ready? Let's do it. So I'm going to hit start. Great. First thing we do is put an income goal. It's just a blank, put in a number. Okay. I put 150,000 as my income goal. This goal represents the income level you would like to be at 12 months from now. Okay. It doesn't mean that you've got $150,000 in your bank 12 months from now. It means that's the income level you'll be at 12 months from now. Make sense? Okay, so set the goal. Now, I recommend set the goal higher than you think it should be. Okay, set the goal higher than you think it should be. You can always backpedal that goal a little bit, but you're gonna find that your time is so efficient with Teamsy that you can actually connect with more people than you think you can right now. Make sense? Okay, so I'll show you what this turns out to be. 150,000, let's continue. Teamsy's crunched the numbers and they're telling me that I need to connect with 4,348 people over the next 12 months. Okay, that's a lot, right? It's a lot. Now, how do you eat an elephant? Anyone know this one? One bite at a time, right? One bite at a time. So the next page is the breakdown page. I clicked continue to get there. And now Teamsy breaks down into three groups, my prospects, my customers, and my distributors. Okay, that's my team, my distributors. And then it breaks it down yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily. So now I take that huge number, 4,348, and now it's just, I need to connect with nine prospects every day. Not too bad. Six customers and four people on my team. That's it. 19, 19 people a day to get to that big goal. That's doable. In fact, I'm going to show you guys that you can do that in 30 minutes with Teamsy. <laughs> you guys in? I'm going to show you that in a minute. Now, a couple things about this page. You can change these numbers. They're just suggestions. If you're brand new and you have nobody on your team, you might want to make that one a zero. Okay. If you, um, don't have any customers, the same thing. And you might want to just put a big number in the prospects box, okay? I'm going to change this actually to 10 so that it's an even 20. I just want it to be 20 people, not 19. I'm just anal like that. I can't help it. Okay. Also, you've got invites, okay? We, we default this to three as your minimum standard. You can change that to whatever you want. An invite, by the way, is different than a connect. A connect is just starting a conversation. It's just saying, hey, the idea of a connect is to make someone stay. I call it the make someone stay mindset just to make someone stay. Hey, I'm just connecting with you to make your day. How are you? An invite is when I say, hey, would you, be, would you like to come to an opportunity call? Would you like to attend this event with me? Would you like to try this product? An invite is when I'm actually inviting them to learn more about the business or about the products that I'm representing. That is done later after we've had a conversation and when appropriate. Does that make sense? One of the things that with relationship marketing that we just don't really do, now we've got Teams users who do this and I, and I don't judge it, but with relationship marketing, we don't cold invite. 
We start a conversation, we connect first, we seek to make someone's day, we find a way to enrich that person's life, and where appropriate, we help them with our business solution. Does that make sense? So the idea here is that we're connecting with 20 people a day, and out of those 20 conversations, we're gonna create an opportunity for at least three invites. Okay, and then we've got ads. This is just adding new people to your list every day. And it, is, it may be a little bit of a challenge to add three people to your list every day, but it is, it is an essential discipline, guys, to building a big team. Okay, you need to be meeting people. In the beginning, you're just gonna be adding people that hadn't occurred to you yet that you already know. And as you go, you'll be meeting people in the street, online, right? Facebook groups, Instagram, whatever. You'll be adding people to your list every day. Okay, once you have all those numbers right where you want them, click continue, and now your dashboard will be configured to those goals that you set. Now you can change those anytime. There's a little link at the top of the dashboard that says change, change daily goals. You can click that anytime to change those numbers. Next, step two is finding your why. Finding your why. Now, some of you guys probably got the email from me that says your, your willpower sucks, right? Which isn't meant to be an insult. It's just a fact. We don't have willpower. The only thing that helps us have stickiness in our life, the only thing that helps us persevere is why power. We have to have a reason to. Now, one of the things that, you know, I'm really passionate about this part because did you guys know that one out of two people quit this business in the first year on average across the entire industry? One out of two people will quit in their very first year. And it's so sad because it's such an awesome industry, such an awesome business opportunity. It's a way for people to create their own freedom, right? And help other people along the way. It's, it's such an amazing opportunity and it's so sad to know that so many people quit. And I want you guys to know there's nothing wrong with people who quit. Some of you guys may have even considered quitting. You might be considering quitting this business right now. This might be your last hope. Hopefully I'll fire you up and you won't want to. The reason people quit is not because anything's wrong with them. We all, we're all quitters, okay? They just don't have a reason not to. They haven't uncovered their why, like their deep emotional reason for wanting to persist in this business. And I know you guys have heard other trainers talk to you about your why or your vision or whatever they may have called it. And you've thought, yeah, I need to do that, but I don't really know how to do that. That's just some strange hippy dippy new age stuff that they're doing, right? But I want to demystify this for you. It's really not that hard. The truth is, is you in your heart, you already know your reason. It's just a matter of getting it out conscious. You can work on it, okay? I'm going to take you through a quick process. We built it into the Teamsy Setup Wizard because we're so passionate about this. We want you to be successful, okay? We're not in this to make a quick buck. We're in this to help you create an empire for you and your family and your friends and your team, okay? So we need you to have a why so that you'll be Gird it up against life's difficulties. Is life going to be hard? I guarantee you life is going to, do you guys agree that life is hard? Sometimes harder than others, right? Something's going to happen. You need to know why you're in this business. Okay, let me just take you through this process real quick with Teamsy. I'll, you, I'll share my story as an example. Obviously, yours will be different, but you'll get the idea. There's just five simple questions. Five simple questions. Okay, and I'll just take you through this. The first one is, why did you become a distributor? Why did you join this business? And um, when I started, it was because, as I mentioned, I was using the products. People were asking me about them. I was excited to share them. And I was already sharing the products with people for no money. So I became a distributor so I could make a couple extra bucks doing it. That's it. I was hoping, why, what do you hope to accomplish? I was hoping to make $500 a month extra. That was my goal. $500 a month extra. Anyone relate to that? Would that be cool for everybody? 500 bucks a month extra. That's what I hope to accomplish. Why is that important to you? I want question three. Why was that important to you? I wanted to save, just to get specific with you guys, I wanted to save $500 a month. I wanted that to go into my bank. Now, just to give you a little background on my story, I told you that I was in the business of coaching and, and consulting people in their business. I specifically worked with real estate and mortgage professionals. Now, you guys probably remember the Great Recession of 2008, 2009, right? And what happened to those industries? They were completely gutted almost overnight. And it was a very difficult time for us financially. We struggled. You know, we struggled. I was laid off from my job, had to find another job, another industry. And, you know, God is good. And by his grace, we made it through that period. You know, we, it was much worse for a lot of people. But before the recession, we had an automatic thing on our bank where $500 every month went into savings. During the recession, we not only used our savings, but we did not save a penny. In fact, it had been almost seven years when I went through this why process where we had not saved a penny. 
And so I thought, man, if I can make 500 bucks a month, I could start that savings thing going again. Okay, you guys with me? So now you're kind of getting where I'm going from because when, when my upline had said to me, what do you want to accomplish? I said 500 bucks, you're like, okay. But it actually meant something to me. Make sense? Next question. What would achieving this mean for you and your family? Now, when they asked me this, the first thing I thought was, if I could save money long enough, we could buy a new house. That's really what I wanted to do more than anything was buy a new house for my family. We had outgrown our house. We were living on top of each other. When I started my business, I didn't have an office to work in and I had to, some of you guys know the story. I went to Home Depot and I bought a shed. I put it in the backyard with an extension cord and a fan, put my computer out there on Wi-Fi, and I started building my business in the shed in the backyard. It, it didn't even have a foundation. It was sitting in the dirt. This was, this was where I started building my business. I was dreaming of a new house. That's what I wanted. Okay, next question. But you can see already, guys, in this process of finding my why, five minutes, I've gone from, I guess I can make a buck doing this to, wow, maybe we'll buy a new house. It's already gotten to a point where it's kind of exciting, right? And then I get to this last question. Why is this meaningful? How does this make you feel? Why is this meaningful? How does this make you feel? Now, guys, I racked my brains on this one for a couple of minutes, and I'll be honest, I was a little bit frustrated by it because it really forced me to look inside. Now, as I thought about buying a new house, it didn't seem like a meaningful goal. It actually seemed kind of materialistic, right? I mean, I didn't really need a new house. I mean, we just probably could get rid of some stuff and be fine in our smaller house, right? Get some bunk beds, whatever. <laughs> but I started thinking about it and I realized something that was going on kind of deep inside and I hadn't allowed it to come to my consciousness, which was this. It wasn't that, that the house was wrong. It's that my family the health of my family wasn't good. See, the home represents family, right? It's kind of a symbol for your family. And at this point in my career, I was considered the top of my career. Okay, I was well-respected. I was making what was considered great money. But yet here I was working every day, getting up at the crack of dawn while my kids were in bed. I left while they were still in their pajamas. And I'd come home from work, they were already in the bath, done with dinner, getting ready for bed. That was my relationship with my children. Good morning, good night. My son, who was in kindergarten, was calling me by the name of his teachers, not me, not by my name, not dad. And um, it was heartbreaking. I never got to see, spend much uh, time with my wife. And I realized I was missing it. I was missing it. I mean, this was the whole point, right? The family was at the center of everything and I was missing it. I was too busy working at a career where I wasn't able to save money for six years. I was stuck. I was just stuck. Anybody ever feel that way? I was just stuck. And I, and I had kind of this light bulb go off, like, oh my goodness, this is more than 500 extra bucks a month. This business opportunity is my way out. This is my way to design the life of my dreams. This is the way for me to be home with my family. This is the way for me to stop being stressed out about losing my job again. You guys with me? This is the light bulb moment I want you to have. I want your teams to have. Everybody that you talk to about your business to have. Because once you realize the possibility and why you're doing this, it becomes much easier to be successful. So after I went through this whole process mentally, I created my first why statement, which is the kind of the sample in your account. And this was the statement I wrote. Gosh, it was only about a little, almost three or four years ago, I have to check the dates, but it wasn't that long ago that I wrote this first one. It was to create a life where I never have to worry about money again. I enjoy quality time with my family and I'm present for my children on a daily basis. I'm healthy and I'm full of energy. Guys, I wrote that first why statement. This was mine. You can take this and rewrite it in your own words if you want, if it helps you. When I hit continue on this blue continue button, that will be saved on my dashboard. It will be there for me to read every day when I do my power hour. That's what I want you to do. Every day when you do your power hour, power hour, I want you to read that why statement out loud to yourself. I don't care if you feel silly. This is important. Your subconscious mind will start to internalize it. After I wrote this, everything changed. It set my intention to leave my job and focus on my business. I built the shed which I already mentioned. My wife thought I was a nut, by the way. Now she's very happy I did it. And um, I just started working on my business. I started focusing on what I needed to do to get there so that I could make this happen. And guys, I want you to understand why this is so powerful because do you think there were days where I did not feel like doing it? Do you think there were days where I just didn't feel like connecting with people? All the time. And then you're confronted by this why. 
well, I don't want to be worried about money. I don't want to not be with my family. I do want to be healthy and happy and full of energy. So when you make the decision now to blow off your activities, your income producing activities for the day, you're actually choosing the opposite of your why. You're saying, I choose to be worried about money today. I choose to not be spending time with my kids today because I'm slacking on my income producing activities. The why becomes very powerful because it stops you in your tracks when you feel like slacking and it pushes you forward when, when you've got momentum. Does that make sense? Don't skip this part. Get the why done. Help your team do this part too. I know you don't need this part to make this software work, but you need this part to be successful. Are you with me? All right, I'm, I'm done with my passion tangent. Let's show you the rest of the setup on Team Z. Okay, so again, this last box is the only one that really matters as far as your dashboard. That's what publishes to your dashboard, okay? The last step is getting your contacts loaded in. Now, there's three lists that you wanna be sure to get in. You wanna get your, your first level or personally sponsored people in, your team. You wanna get all your customers imported, okay? And then you wanna get your Facebook friends imported. Those are the three lists that you just, you gotta have. Okay, and then anywhere else that you have, you have names, addresses, phone numbers, whatever, you can bring those in as well. And there's some videos here in the Setup Wizard to help you, okay? But also I wanna show you guys, over here on the left side of Teamsy is the Help Center. And that's where you go for more help. There's more videos, there's FAQs, lots of help. And then if you still struggle with the import process, click this help button in the bottom right corner, and our team will help you. We'll even go as far as scheduling a one-on-one -on -one walkthrough via Zoom with you if we need to, okay? We will not let you fail. Just lean on us. Tell us you need help if you need it, and we'll be happy to help you. Okay, once you get people imported, there's one more setup step, and then we're gonna crush our power hour together. Let me go to the team page. So over here in the left nav, I'm on dashboard now, I'm gonna go to team. Team is where your entire list lives, okay? This is where you're kind of, it's kind of like your CRM inside Teamsy. The whole list is here, see? And you can now look at um, prospects, only prospects or only customers or only distributors, right? Um, and there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. But once you're in this area, after you've done a, an import, you're gonna be in a mode called rank mode. I'm gonna just turn it on for you, rank mode. And this lets you go down and rank your contacts on a five-star ranking system, just like you rank Netflix or Amazon, right? Five stars is awesome. One star, not so awesome. And you just do it by clicking. You just go down your list. Now, everybody you import will be a three to start, right? And then you're gonna really look for the fours and fives to promote up. Over time, you may move people to twos and ones, okay? But this is an important step. And I'll tell you why. First of all, the star ranking will determine how often you speak to somebody or how often you connect with them. Okay, and this is based on the principle in relationship marketing that you should spend more time with those relationships that are more likely to help you. You should spend more time with the best people. Okay, if you want to prioritize your time, you have to prioritize relationships first. If you don't, the turkeys will steal your time. Is that true? Yeah, the turkeys will steal your time. So you got to prioritize first. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to click on this little question mark to give you the definitions. A five star is somebody most likely to become a customer distributor or they're an existing customer distributor that's a rock star. Five star people are gonna come up on your list every 30 days. Every 30 days just to connect with. This is not the same as following up for a reason. This is just, hey, how's your day going? Make sense? A four star person, this is somebody likely to become a customer or distributor with a little bit of nurturing, right? Or they're the solid people on your team already. They're gonna show up on your list every 60 days. Every 60 days, you're gonna get a reminder to connect with them. Okay, a three-star person's gonna show up every 90 days. Again, everybody's a three-star person to start because you don't know which way they might go, okay? Two stars is getting colder, it's 120 days between connects. And one star, they're never gonna show up on your list, they're just in teams. If you need to look them up, they're there, okay? This helps you cycle through your list. Now, of course, if you never go to Teamsy and never connect with people, that list isn't gonna move. The idea is that you're doing a power hour every day, connecting with people, and your list is always flowing. Make sense? Now, now that we've got that part done, I am going to show you now how to do a power hour. This is super fun. Quick, just a quick tour of the dashboard, a couple things. You see my why's down here. If I want to change that, I can just click on it, okay? Today's activities are the goals we set and set up. So the goal here is to connect with 10 prospects, six customers, four distributors, get three invites done and three ads, okay? I can change these by clicking edit daily goals right here, boom. 
If I want to add somebody new to my list that's not there, I just click this little guy on the top and just add them super fast, right? So after you've done your imports, you want to be adding those three people a day, this is how you do it, right? And all this is mobile too. I'll show you at the end that you can do this on your phone. Who's up next is where we're going to crush our power hour. I'll show you that in a second. And then if you want to look up somebody who's not on the dashboard, you just look them up by a piece of their name, email, or phone, and they'll pop up and it'll take you to their full contact record. Okay? You with me so far? Okay. Oh, and dailies. Dailies are just things that you need to do every day to be successful. Things that we know are essential, right? So this one says social posts. You need to do that every day to be successful. Personal development work, right? Being a product of your product taking care of your body. These are all things that you got to be doing if you want to be successful. Successful people do those things daily. You with me? So those are just to remind you and they'll bother you when you don't check them off, make you go do them, hopefully. All right, so who's up next? You ready to crush this together? Now, the who's up next has two parts. On the left are my lists and there's four lists, prospects, customers, distributors, and my follow-ups, okay? So those, are, those change when you click on them. And on the right-hand side is my connect box. This is where I log my activity with people. Okay, so the first person on my list is Jay. Now I'm gonna connect with Jay. She's, I'm working my prospects first. So this is where a lot of people get stuck. They go, okay, Jay, hmm, I don't really know Jay, or I'm, I, you know, I don't know what to say to Jay. What do I say to her? Anyone ever feel that way? Or I haven't talked to her since high school. How do I start a conversation with her? We've got you covered, guys. Now, over here in the connect box in the bottom, there's this little scripts button. You see this? We've got all kinds of scripts in here to start conversations. These scripts are specifically written. They work amazingly. Just use them. If you don't, if you don't believe me, don't take my word for it. Go to, the, go to the community in Facebook and read how many posts there are people going, I can't believe how great these scripts work. They work great because they're simple and they're focused on making someone's day. So I'm going to go to Facebook because I primarily message on Facebook Messenger. And look, here's a great connect. Connect number one. Hi, Jane, just stopping by to say hello. How are you? I hope your day is awesome. Okay, so simple. Now you can change these around a little bit. I know a lot of people write, hey girl. Now you know what, I don't say that. <laughs> I say people's names, but whatever, however you talk. Okay, let me copy that script. So now it's on my clipboard. Now I've got Facebook open in a separate tab. You, Facebook doesn't allow you to message from other apps. You have to go to Facebook to send a message, which is pretty easy. I'm just gonna look Jay up here in Facebook. Hey, there she is. Okay, there she is. I'm going to send a message. All right, so I've got that message in my clipboard. I'll just paste it in there. How easy is that? Change the name to Jay. Oh, it says Jet. I've got this big microphone in the way of my keyboard. Okay, so there it is, ready to go. Now, before I send it, I just do this to be quick. I like to copy it so that I can paste it in Teamsy without having to write any notes. Boom. So now that message is sent. I just bang over here. That was a Facebook message. And I'll just paste that in. Okay, now I'm gonna click this log connect button and it's gonna track that, that connect with, for me. It's tracked, it's already done. No tracking to be done, it's done. Next person on my list is Sue. And you notice I have now like a, a point on the board, right? Sue's the next person on my list. I'm gonna to toggle back over here. I'm just gonna look her up. There she is, okay. Send message. I'm gonna send the same message just for efficiency's sake and just change the name. Are you guys with me? Do you see how easy this is? How many of you guys think you could do this 20 times in 30 minutes like me? Oh yeah, totally. Even if you're not good on your trackpad like me. Boom, sent. Done. See how fast this is? And you're gonna get faster every time you do it. So now I'm just gonna paste that in there. Gotta just select what kind of activity is a Facebook message. Log, now I got two. I'm just gonna keep doing, going down my list until I get all 10 prospects connected with. I'm just sending a connect. I'm seeding a conversation. I'm just getting a conversation started. You'll be shocked at how many people will actually respond. Okay, to that message. I'm doing great, how are you? Great, now you're having a conversation. You with me? Okay, but don't get into the conversations until you finish sending all your connects. So we're gonna do our prospects, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. When I get 10, I'll move over to my next list, which is customers, okay? I'm gonna connect with them the same way. I'm gonna to go to my scripts. We've got great customer scripts in here, okay? Congratulations on great results. How are you enjoying the product? Send me an update. Or my favorite customer script of all time. Hi Jane, just checking in to see if there's anything I can do to make your day. This is my favorite script of all time. If you guys have not sent this to anybody, try this today or tomorrow. 
send this to a couple of current customers. Just checking in to see if there's anything I can do to make your day and see how they respond. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Guys, there's so little heart in this business. Part of the reason I started this company is because I want more of us to lead with love and bring heart into this business and let people know they're cared for, right? Isn't that why we're here? That's why it's so important. Okay, three reasons why you need to be connecting with your customers real quick as we go here. Three reasons. The first one is it's your duty. It's your duty. You're a business owner. Serving your customers is your duty. Are you with me on that? Yes. I'm talking right to you guys who have neglected that customer list with love, but it's your duty to connect with them regularly. Now, the second reason you want to be connecting with customers is because when you're in regular contact with customers, they will order more stuff. Period. They'll order more stuff. If they're on a recurring order, they're going to stay on that recurring order longer if you're in connect, if you're contact with them regularly. Now that means your volume will go up. Now, if you teach your team to do the same thing, your team volume will go up. Is that a win-win for everybody? Yes. And your customers are getting better service and they're getting to enjoy more of your products. Everybody wins. Stay in touch with your customers. The third most and most important reason to stay in touch with your customers. Guys, write this down. If you haven't been taking notes, this is your time to start taking notes. The hottest source for a new lead in your business is a current customer. The hottest source for a new lead in your business is a current customer. Let me just stop this share for a second so I can look at you guys for a second. What do you do when you find a product you love? You, you start talking about it, right? You can't help yourself. We're designed to gush about things that we love. You have customers who are loving your products. I guarantee you they are talking to people about them already. They've already had conversations. They've already generated interest in your products. If you are not in regular contact with your customers, then you're not getting introduced to those people who are already interested and you're missing a huge opportunity, huge. It's actually bigger than any other opportunity in your business. Okay. Not only that, how many of you guys were customers before you became distributors? How many of your customers who are talking to five, 10, 15 people already are perfect candidates to join your team if they understood the opportunity, if you were in contact with them, if you were asking them for the names of the people they're already talking to? Please don't neglect your customers. Use Teamsy. Stay in contact with them regularly. Doesn't mean you have to have this overcomplicated follow-up plan for customers. If you're using Teamsy and you're connecting with them regularly, you're good. Make sense? Okay. And I know some people are like, well, I don't, I don't like to uncover customer service complaints. Guys, a customer service complaint is a huge opportunity to create an advocate. Until you have a chance to solve a problem for somebody, they don't know how awesome you are. Isn't this true in relationships? Think about how you wooed your spouse. When you were able to solve a problem for them is when they saw how good you are. With me? Okay. Back to Teamsy. Sorry, a little passion hand in there. Next is distributors. So when I connect with six customers on my list, by the way, each time I connect, my list moves up. Did you notice that on the prospects? The first two people disappeared. When I connect with somebody, my list moves up. Teamsy only gives me five names at a time. It keeps me from getting overwhelmed and it keeps me from skipping through my list. It keeps me focused on who I need to connect with. Guys, I will encourage you to connect with whoever's on your list, even if you don't want to. Just send them a message. It takes a second, okay? If you can't stand that person, they shouldn't be on your list. Delete them. Distributors, third, the third list. Now I'm going to connect with my team. This is why we call it Team Z, by the way, because we want you to build your team. We need you to build those relationships with them. Guys, leaders or future leaders, please listen to this. Having a Facebook group for your team is awesome. Doing live Zoom calls is great, but that does not replace a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship, okay? When you have two people on your team, it's probably easy to have a relationship with them. When you have 100 people on your team, it gets a little harder. When you have thousands of people on your team, it gets much harder. But Teamsy will help you stay in contact with those, at least with your first level people. And it means all the world to hear from you, okay? It means all the world to hear from you. So we get to distributors. Our goal was three. Bam, 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 bam. I'm going to send four messages. Probably the, make, how can I make your day? You know, the, the easiest messages to send to your team are, how can I make your day? Or I just wanted to let you know I'm proud of you for, right? It takes a second. Okay, so prospects, customers, distributors. In this example, we had 20 people. You're 30 minutes into your power hour and you've already sent out 20, you've already made 20 people's day. Pretty cool, right? Now, next list are follow-ups. So how do I get people on my follow-ups list? 
So let me just kind of take you guys through this process in your mind. You're, you're messaging people, you're starting conversations. Now people are responding and you're having conversations with people. You're messaging back and forth. Oh my gosh, what are you up to? How are your kids? How are your holidays, right? You're asking questions, you're forming. You guys remember form, F-O-R-M-E? No, family, occupation, recreation, motivation. Forming, just asking questions. Now, here's the thing I want you to get from this. A lot of times people will train you to ask questions so that you can find a way to sell. And yes, that is ultimately what we want to do, but I want to change your mindset. I want you to ask questions to find a way to help. You need to find something they need that you can help with. And it may not have anything to do with your business. They may need a prayer, a joke, a laugh, a hug. Maybe they need uh, a recommendation to a new dentist for their kids. I don't know. Find a, listen for wants and needs and find a way to help them. Find a way to make their day. Find a way to help them. Okay. So now as I'm having conversations and I'm uncovering opportunities to talk to somebody about the business, you know, we're, we're talking back and forth, getting caught up. Let's say Jay, who we messaged first, messages me back. We're having a great conversation, getting all caught up on each other's lives. She says, well, how's that thing going with that thing I see you doing on Facebook? Oh my gosh, it's awesome. She's like, so are you really at home now full time doing that as your business? Yeah, I am. And so we're talking about it, right? And she's interested now in learning a little bit more information. So I say to Jay, hey, Jay, you know what? Um, we've got a, our team has an opportunity call tonight. If, you, if you'd like to learn more, I, I can email you that link and you can get on and, and learn a little bit more about the opportunity. She's like, oh, that actually sounds great, Eric. I would love to do that. Great. I'll send you that email in a second. And I tell you what, Jay, I'll call you tomorrow. I'll connect with you tomorrow and see if you have any questions. Sound good? She's like, oh, that's perfect. Okay, so guys, this is how a conversation becomes an invite. Now, let me show you how to do it in Teamsy. Jay's not on my dashboard anymore, so I need to look her up in the lookup bar. Okay, that brings me to her contact record. Now, when I'm here, I can, I can open the connect box here. And now what I want to do is see right here where it says invite in the connect box? I want to click on that. And I want to move this from a regular connect down to opportunity call. All right, now, there's a few options here in... The options for um, invites might be different if you have a specific network version based on what you guys told us that you invite to, okay? So I clicked opportunity call. So now this is gonna log this as an invite. And I'm just gonna write here, I'm just gonna put a note. <laughs> My hands are on the wrong line. There you go, opportunity call, okay. Now, before I log this connect, I need to set my follow-up because otherwise there won't, she won't be on my follow-ups list. So right here on the bottom, it says follow-up. I'm gonna click that. And now I'm gonna set a follow-up for tomorrow. You see that? Now, when I log this connect, oh, I forgot to select that was email. When I log this connect, now there's a follow-up set on her record for tomorrow. What this means is she's now been moved from my prospects list over to my follow-ups list. And there she is on my follow-ups list for tomorrow. Okay, you with me? Now, my goal is, as I invite people, is to move them to my follow-ups list and to keep them on my follow-ups list until they convert. So let me explain to you guys how to do that, okay? Because it's super easy. But first, I want to just get you a mindset shift really quick on this. Because I know a lot of you guys struggle with following up because you feel like you're pestering people, right? Have you guys ever heard the, the statistic that 80% of all sales happen between the seventh and the 10th follow-up? Have you guys heard that? 80% of all sales happen between the seventh and the 10th follow-up. How many of you guys follow up seven to 10 times? Not very many, right? And again, it comes back to this idea of being annoying. I want you guys to understand just the mindset shift real quick at the beginning here. Do you believe in your product? Do you believe this opportunity is life-changing? Do this could change everything for somebody? If you do believe that, you have to understand the only way to help them, the only way to change their life is to complete the sale, right? They have to buy, they have to buy the product or they have to join the business in order to have that impact in their lives, correct? And if you agree with the statistic that 80% of sales will happen between the seventh and 10th follow-up, that means that 80% of the people you want to help change their lives, you need to follow up seven or more times. Okay? Guys, follow with me as I pull you through this equation because following up becomes an act of love. Following up is an act of love. It is how you love somebody. In this business, how you change their life is helping them make the purchase. The only way to do that is following up, which means changing their life and loving them it, it's only applied by following up. That's how you love. Following up is an act of love. Write that down on a little sticky note. Put it on your computer. Put it on your screensaver on your phone. Following up is an act of love. That's how 
we love people. Now, what if I told you there's a way to follow up seven to 10 times without being annoying? Would you guys be interested in that? Okay, I'm gonna teach you two principles right now that will let you do it without being annoying. I want you to know that Teamsy has all of the scripts in Teamsy. There's 10 follow-up scripts in Teamsy. There's 10 of them already written for you. You can follow up 10 times without thinking. They already apply these principles, so you won't be annoying. Cool, right? But here they are anyways. Here's the principles. The first one is don't ask someone to do anything when you follow up. Don't ask them to do anything. Don't ask them to call you back. Don't ask them to message you back. Don't ask them to RSVP. Don't ask them to complete their purchase. Those are That's annoying. Don't ask them to do anything. They already know what you want them to do because you already talked about it, right? Yeah? Okay. The second principle is this. When you send the follow-up, it needs to be written. Don't leave it on a voicemail or something like that. I mean, you can, if they, if you know they have a smartphone and it will transcribe it and they're not going to have to listen to it, fine. But nobody wants to listen to your message. Send them a message that's written and, it, and make it, keep it short because they want to read it on the lock screen of their phone without opening your message. They don't want you to know they've seen it. Why don't they want you to know they've seen it? Because they're not going to respond to you right now. Don't you guys do that too? Make it easy on them. Guys, you have to understand the psychology of following up. People, all right. First, let me just show you in Teamsy, and then I'll talk to you a little bit about the psychology as we do it. Okay, where's Teamsy? Let's get back in there. All right, so when I go to my follow-ups list during my power hour, so we've connected with my prospects, customers, distributors. Now I'm going to my follow-ups list. I'm working down my follow-ups list. I get to Jay. I'm going to send my first follow-up. Again, I'm going to go to scripts, okay? And I'm just going to grab follow-up number one. There it is, bam. Hi, Jane, just checking in like I promised I would. What questions do you have for me? I'll copy that script, okay? I'll jump over here to Jay, look her up in Facebook. I'll send the message. You guys with me? Super easy. Okay, bam, sent. Now I'm gonna to toggle over here and log it. That was Facebook. Now, I gotta set my next follow-up. Don't forget to set your next follow-up. Keep her on the follow-ups list. I'm set it for tomorrow again, okay? So now I've logged that follow-up. Tomorrow, there she is on my list again for tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow I'm gonna to come back in here. I'm gonna to go to my scripts. I'm gonna grab follow-up number two. They're numbered, so easy, okay? Follow-up number two, you see how short and sweet these are? Then follow-up number three, then follow-up number four, right? You don't have to do it every single day, but you, you figure, use your own discernment how often you wanna do it. Maybe it's every couple of days. Maybe it's every few, but let me explain to you guys what's happening here. From a working your power hour perspective, we made this so easy. You're just gonna jam down your lists and send people messages. When you get to your follow-ups list, you're gonna send them follow-up messages. That's it, <laughs> done. So efficient, out the door. People think you're awesome, you're on top of it. Nobody falls through the cracks, so easy. But let me explain to you what's happening. You see, the subconscious runs the show. Have you guys heard about this? 85% of everything you do is run by your subconscious mind. This is how you can arrive in your driveway and not remember driving home. Has that ever happened to you? Your subconscious mind runs the show. They've even done things where they put something weird like a chicken hanging out of a third story window and people think it's a baby because your subconscious just makes things easy for you so you don't get confused, right? It runs the show. So what happens is I'm talking to Jay about the business opportunity. She's super excited about it consciously. The 15% of her conscious mind is like, wow, this is great. But her subconscious is going, mm, no, I don't think so, Jay. That sounds scary. That's, that sounds like change. And, and it doesn't sound so, like it's something reliable. You know, you've got a job that you hate, but at least it's a paycheck every month. I think we should just stay with this. Now, this is happening subconsciously. She doesn't even know it's happening. But what happens when you follow up the next day is this. She gets that follow up and she sees it and she's like, oh, yeah, it connects her for a split second back to the hope and excitement she had when she talked to you and she's excited. Then her subconscious mind is like, nope, we're not doing that. And what happens is this, something will happen. Oh, well, I need to respond to Eric, but I can't because the baby just threw up on the dog and I gotta go handle that right now. This is why we don't ask them to do anything and this is why we let them see it in the lock screen. It takes the pressure off them because we know that something, we know their subconscious is gonna find a reason why they can't follow up right now. That's it. The next day she gets another message from me. Oh yeah, I gotta, I need to do that. And then something else happens. Some other reason why she's not gonna follow up. Third follow up, same thing. Fourth follow up, same thing. Fifth follow up, same thing. Most people won't even respond to the first five follow ups. These might be close friends. They might be people who respect and adore you. Meanwhile, you think they're sliding you. 
you're getting offended, you're taking it personally, understand guys, this is the human brain. 80% of all sales happen between the seventh and the 10th follow-up, okay? And this is why. Now what we're doing, the reason why it works between seven and 10 is because every follow-up is literally, uh, is reprogramming that subconscious mind to be okay with this new change. And every time she sees your message and she, and she gets a warm emotion because the way you did it, her subconscious is taking the threat level down, which is why around five or six follow-ups, you'll usually get an apology that says, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I haven't responded to you. Thank you so much for being on, staying on top of me. I appreciate it. Okay? And then they'll confess that they've done nothing with your original, offer, with your original information. And you're like, oh my gosh, it's been weeks. Keep going, right? Let's, no, that, I'm here to help you. That's why I'm here. And just follow those scripts. And then at this point is when you really start engaging with them and moving them towards the decision. This is long after most people have quit. This is long after most people have stopped loving them. Guys, you have to understand by not following up, it's the opposite. You're communicating, I don't care enough about you to follow up with you on this. That's what you communicate when you stop following up. When you continue following up, you continue expressing the fact that you love this person enough to help them get out of their own way to help change their life. Are you with me? Okay, so let me show you one last piece and then we'll open it up to Q&A. So let's say I followed up for Jay for a couple of weeks and now she's in, she's bought her distributor kit, she's on my team, she's ready to rock. How do I finish her off in the system? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look her up again to go to her contact record and now, first thing I want to do is log the sale by clicking sale, okay? What sale type? And you'll have different drop down based on your, your business. Distributor kit, great, save. And just log the sale. We don't log the, the price or anything like that. I just want to know that she bought it and it's logged now. Now I'm going to move her member type from prospect over to distributor by clicking on it. That's it. And you can also give her a modifier like personally sponsored, okay? Now I've moved Jay through the process from being a prospect, somebody I started a conversation with, had a conversation with, invited, followed up like a pro. Now I've moved over to my team. Next time I see Jay on my dashboard, she won't be under prospects. She'll be under distributors. And I'll be connecting with her as a member of my team. Make sense? Okay. Now that's just the Power Hour piece. There's a lot more stuff going on in Teamsy. You can learn more by going into the Help Center. Um, you can even get some cool training in the university. Go into the Facebook community to learn from other users. But I wanted to give you guys that much. If all you do right now is focus on doing your power hour every day, crushing that, connecting with people, and making people's day, you're going to blow your business up. For those of you guys in the free trial right now, I'm going to give you some action steps really quick. And then we'll do questions. So start putting your questions in the Q&A um, folder right now if you have questions. And I'll get to those in a second. Here's your action steps. You guys ready? One, make sure you're in our free trial. If you're not already getting the free trial, go get a free trial. If you're in a free trial, get your subscription set up now so you don't miss a beat when the trial ends, okay? You can set that up now and you won't get billed at all until after your free 30 days, okay? Second step, choose a 30-day success partner to do the trial with you, okay? Choose somebody, just a 30-day success partner. If you have a success partner, get them to do it with you. But if you don't have one, pick somebody and say, would you be my success partner for 30 days? It's a great way to try somebody out, okay? Before you commit to being success partners with them. But here's what I want you to do with your success partner. Every day, I want you to take a screenshot of your completed Team Z dashboard. You'll get this little, you crushed it message. And I want you to message that or text over that image of that screenshot to your success partner every day, okay, during the free trial. Guys, both of you do it and you'll push each other to get amazing results, okay? Last action step, I'm gonna give you a five-day challenge. This is specifically so that you can understand and feel what the momentum is like when you're using Teamsy daily. I want you to use Teamsy for five straight days in a row, and over those five straight days, no days off, I want you to connect with 100 people. That's an average of 20 a day. That's it, 20 a day is the example I showed you here. That's 30 minutes a day. I want you to do that for five days in a row. It's gonna be hard to do because you're gonna to wanna to stop because you've got so many conversations started, but just do it five days in a row. I want you guys to experience that tremendous, tremendous um, momentum. Now, here's the thing, it's kind of a selfish thing because I know if you do these things, I know if you do these things, you will be a Team Z subscriber for life. And you'll do it with, a, you'll be happily because you'll be getting tremendous results in your business. Okay, I'm gonna jump out of this. And uh, I'm gonna start picking up the Q&A buttons right here. See, so if you have questions, pop them in there. Rachel says, 
Is there a way to import phone contacts in other formats other than the only option listed? I'm guessing you mean CSV, and there's not. And there's not another way to do it other than CSV, but it's pretty easy to convert to CSV, okay? Um, if you go into the, into the Teamsy Help Center, here, I'll show you where it is. Help Center. I'm gonna scroll down. Sorry, it's scrolling, it's hard to watch. Okay, so down here in the FAQs, one of the questions is how to get my phone contacts. Let me find it. Here we go. Let me click on that, I'll show you. So first thing you're gonna do is export to vCard, which is kind of the standard format that the phone contacts come out in, okay? And then you just go into, there's all these free online converters to convert to CSV. So we've given you a link here to one um, at University of North Carolina. So you can go, you can click on that link, you drop your, your card, your V card onto that website and it comes back out of CSV, which imports right into Teamsy. Super easy, okay. Next question. Brian says, it's funny that you said not to send voice messages. I was told to do it because it's unique and not something everyone does, so it grabs their attention. And two, when they listen to it, they get more of an understanding of how I'm saying something, so I see it both ways. Yeah, so Brian, you know, it's a matter of opinion, but here's the thing. Do you like getting voicemails? Ultimately, that's the litmus test. Do you like getting voicemails? Some people do, okay? And do you listen to your voicemails or do you, do you read the transcription? So those are just questions to ask. I'm not saying it's some, you should never do it. I'm just saying most people these days, they don't, they don't want to talk on the phone impromptu. Make sense? So it's up to you. Now, you can send, it's a little different. When you send a voice message in Facebook Messenger, that seems to be a little different. So if that's what you're talking about, Brian, I think that's cool. Like when you send a voice message in Facebook Messenger or even a video message in Facebook Messenger, people respond really well to that because it's not like um, a voicemail. That makes sense. Okay. Rachel says, what's the monthly cost? That's a great question. So after your free trial, Teams is $29.99 a month. Okay. You can get two free months if you buy it a year in advance. Like if you get a yearly subscription instead of a monthly subscription, it's a, it's a subscription product, right? We don't, we don't require you to to sign contracts or anything, it's just a subscription. Um, but it's $29.99 a month, which sh you should very easily blow past that number in income earned using it during your free trial, if that makes sense. Okay. Alicia says, what's the benefit of loading Facebook likes? Um, well, okay, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing that you mean from a like page or business page as opposed to your personal page and your friends. Because what I was referring to was your personal page friends importing into Teamsy. Um, so Alicia, is that just kind of hit again and clarify that for me that that's what you're asking and then I'll get a little deeper into it. Wendy says, so much info. Do you send prompts to help us remember all this? <laughs> okay, so Wendy, the, I'm glad you asked that question because you know my team and I, we have built CRM before for real estate. And we have set it up so it sent text message reminders and email reminders for people to do their things. And here's what happened. People hated it. They hated it. It, was, it became overwhelming and annoying. So what we've done with Teamsy, we've, we've, we've designed this for you, Wendy, that all you have to remember to do is go do it. Just turn on your computer and everything's there for you. You don't have to remember anything. Just turn it on and connect with the first person on your list. Okay. So you don't need a reminder to go, turn, to go work on your business today. Just like I always tell people, just like if you're a parent, you don't need a reminder to feed your children. Do you, does anyone have to tell you to feed your children? Have you ever missed a day of feeding your kids? Never. Why would you ever miss a day feeding your business? Your business actually feeds your kids. So just think of it that way. Make sense? Okay. Janetta says, hi there, Eric. Hi there, Janetta. Thank you for this platform. Amazing. When does your bootcamp start? Is there a cost? Where will I find the link? Thank you. Okay, this is a little separate topic. You guys have probably all received an email or something about the bootcamp because we just started promoting it this week. Uh, the bootcamp is going to start on, well, uh, registration will open on, on the 12th of January. Okay, and the bootcamp is going to start 
a week after that or 10 days after that. So keep an eye out for the registration opening. There will be a cost, which we will release a little bit later. It's gonna be really affordable though. But of course we need to charge something. We invest a lot into producing the training and everything for it. It's, you guys are gonna love it. It's gonna be friggin' amazing. So I'm super excited about that. Um, we've run boot camps before, my partner and I, as consultants and, and seen businesses go sky high. This is something that we've built for people <laughs> for, you know, 10, 11, $12,000 for, for a 12 week boot camp for, for one client. So you guys are going to get it for pennies on the dollar for that for sure. But we're hoping that we can bring a ton of teamsy people through this boot camp and get awesome results, get your year started out. Awesome. So thank you for asking that Janetta. Uh, Alicia says I got her question answered. Rachel says curious to know if you had, and I missed it, but the way to ask for a sale follow-up, like they've been sampled and done nothing, even though you keep following up. Again, I would just keep using those scripts that we already put in there. I'll show you. I, I know I just gave you a couple as examples, but just going into these scripts here, you've got so many different, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Jane, I hope you're doing well. I'm here when you're ready. These kinds of things. The psychology be behind the way these are worded, you guys, is when people see that you're truly caring for them, the first, the first kind of emotion they feel is they start to feel a little guilty that they're not responding to you, right? Which is okay. That's the right emotion. You don't want them to be turned off or be annoyed. It's okay. So, it's, so we ask them things like this. Hey, I hope you're doing well. I'm here when you're ready. You know, um, here's another great one. I know you were excited about getting started. I promised to be here to help you along the way. Do you have questions for me? Just, oh my gosh, man, Rachel's so awesome. I need to, I need to connect with her again, right? And then number seven, just like, morning, Jane, just stopping by to wish you a fantastic day. Again, we're staying top of mind. We just want to stay top of mind. I love this one. Number eight. Hi, Jane. I know life can be really hectic. I hope I'm not turning into a pest. I'm just trying to follow up and be present when you're ready. Let me know if you can, if I can help. Okay. Number nine. Hey, I'm just staying in touch like I promised I would. I'm committed to helping you if, you're, if you'll commit to getting started. So I don't know if that answers your question, Rachel. I mean, I think those, those I have found have been very effective. Now, what's kind of cool is sometimes you'll go through all 10 and somebody still won't purchase. They'll just say, you know, I'm just not ready right now, which is fine. They're going to be on your team's list. You'll continue connecting with them. I know in my business, some of my best people, some of my best customers and some of my best people on my team, they took months to come on board. Some of you guys were like that. I was like that. Okay. So I was a customer for two years before I became a distributor with anything. So you're going to find people like that and that's okay. Cause now you have the system to stay in touch and to stay in front of them. Make sense. Okay. Okay. Rachel says I used several earlier. This is so helpful. And yes, answer my question. Okay, great guys. I'm so, I'm so glad we could answer your question. Thank you for joining me. I hope this was really helpful for you. Um, do me a favor, please get the most out of your free trial. And the second favor I ask is to let your team members know about Teamsy, get them engaged with us. We'd love to help them too. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. God bless you.